Are you looking for an all-in-one DNS, DDoS, and SSL certificate provider without spending any money? We'll look no further into um, the platform that is provided by a company called Cloudflare. Now, as a DevOps engineer and manager myself, I have often been tasked with looking after DNS, looking after SSL certificates, making sure that they don't expire. And obviously, I've become quite familiar with this. But for people that aren't, having to deal with certificate signing requests, understanding what private keys and public keys and certificates are, it all gets quite confusing. And Cloudflare takes this problem away from you. I use it for all of this and more. So I'm going to show you a video and we're going to go through some of the features that Cloudflare has to offer. And please stick with me until the end and we'll have a look at some other things that Cloudflare also offers. The top five things that I think are most valuable on top of its original offering of SSL certificates, uh, DNS records and the like. So let's dive into the video and see exactly what we can get out of this tool. And did I mention everything I'm going to show you today is absolutely free. Let's go. So you log into their dashboard, you put in your uh, username, your password, you log in, you then get uh, two factor uh, authentication um, that you need to go through. And then once you have authenticated, you get to the dashboard. You can also manage uh, other people's accounts. Um, so on here, I've got several um, accounts for other people that I look after. I'm just going to click on my account and then we get a whole list of websites. Now, what I'm going to do today is actually go through the process of setting up a new uh, site on Cloudflare. So. Cloudflare is a registrar, but I have uh, all of my regist all of my domains through 123reg and I have for a very long time. One day I might move it across to Cloudflare. Um, Cloudflare um, don't add anything on top. Um, they just, you know, charge you what it charges them to be a registrar. So let's go ahead to uh, my re registrar, 123reg. Um, I'm going to go and find... The DevOps show. Four, four, four. And then what we're going to do is we are going to make some changes here. So the only thing you actually need to do at your registrar is change your name server. So Cloudflare becomes your name server. So what we need to do in Cloudflare is click on new site. So let's put in the new site. And the new site is the DevOps show. Dot com. And then we're going to hit add site. And then it's going to say what plan do you want? Pro, plus, enterprise. I'm just going to hit on free. And I'm going to show you everything that you get with free, which to be honest is plenty. Now what it does is it goes through, um, connects to, um, you know, the internet, um, goes to name servers and finds out what you currently have. It only does this for, um, you know, like your MX records, the WWW record, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to just leave these in now. Um, I am going to change all of these. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then I have to do this. So I need to change the Cloudflare name servers to um, here and here. So let's take the first one, Chuck. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go change name servers. In here. I'm going to put, uh, my domain is locked. Let me go and unlock the domain. And there's change name servers. And there's Chuck. And Lady. So we do that, we hit update. We now don't need to do anything else in 123reg, and we can go back to Cloudflare. So we've added that in. Registrars can take up to 24 hours, um, and then we can hit Done. 
And then it talks about a few things here that we can do to improve security, optimize performance and summary, but I'm going to actually go through them with you. Um, so we're just going to hit on finish later. So what we can do now, we can hit check name servers um, and then we'll go and just check that. We get an email um, when that's done. Um, but I'm going to talk through some of these settings and then um, I'll pause the video once the domain has transferred, uh, the name servers have transferred, I will come back and actually show you. So there's a couple of things in here that are really good. DNS is your DNS management system. So as we saw before, it has transferred these across. If you need to write A records, MX records, um, C names, etc., you write them all in here. The interesting part here is the proxied part. So how Cloudflare work is um, they actually um, run a proxy service. And if you have a site proxied through them, now you can turn this off. I just press that. I think I can edit and then turn it off. Um, now it will not be using and it will just go straight through DNS and not use any of their services. However, if you, however, if you want to do things like SSL, um, image caching, stuff like that, you need to use their proxy service. You need to keep that enabled. Okay. Um, but this is the, the simple DNS management system. They do an email forwarding system. Um, so you can go through um, and create custom email addresses and route incoming email addresses. Um, you can do, um, you know, email security and things like that on incoming email. Um, the great one is SSL TLS. So by default, um, SSL TLS is set to full. So what this requires is that browser to Cloudflare will use the Cloudflare certificate. And then you need to install a certificate so that Cloudflare can talk to your server. So that keeps both sides of the tunnel encrypted. Equally, you can just do Flexible. Now, what Flexible does is make sure the browser to Cloudflare is protected. But if you've got a website and you don't look after, you know, don't do transactions, um, handle uh, money or anything like that, you might not need this HTTPS bit here. So you still have an HTTPS website. It will talk to Cloudflare. You'll get your padlock and everything like that. And then, but when Cloudflare is talking to your server, it will be unencrypted traffic. You've got other things like TLS recommenders. Um, and then you've got, you know, once we start getting traffic and um, the amount of traffic that's been served over um, the last 24 hours, you can get um, custom certificates. We can upload custom certificates that we want to use. Um, we can do always HTTPS, which is something that I do. So um, you may have come across when you are um, running a website, um, you sometimes get mixed content. Um, I see this um, sometimes in WordPress if it's set up badly. So all your images are set up to do HTTP, your website's HTTPS, um, and your padlock is no longer green. It goes yellow um, and uh, you know, shows your customer that you're not completely secure because some of the things that you're collecting um, is HTTP. Turning this on will redirect um, all of those um, things to HTTPS. Um, and I'm not going to go through every single one, but there's you know TLS versions, which is quite good if you're um, you know have to adhere to any standards. Um, you can set your minimum TLS version, um, and you can do rewrites and things like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to wait for the uh, domain to transfer um, the name service. Once it's done that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you exactly what happens. So the domain has um, the name servers have been migrated across now, um, and we can actually check that ourselves. Um, we can see it here anyway. Uh, what's my DNS.net? And in here we can put the DevOps show. We can say we want to look at the name servers and hit search. Now what this does is goes to name servers all across the world. Uh, a couple haven't quite updated, um, but everywhere else, look, you can see everything is now to Cloudflare. So we now know that if we are asking on the internet um, for the IP address of uh, the DevOps show, it's going to ask Cloudflare for that. And that's really important for us. So the next thing that we need to do is actually go and update um, the Cloudflare to the correct IP addresses. Now, the great thing, um, unlike other um, providers, is that you have what's called a TTL in DNS. So in DNS, if you go and make a change, 
you have to wait for your TTL to expire for your record to be updated. Now, if you're using Cloudflare and you are using their proxy service, your IP address isn't changing. So there's nothing for, for DNS to do. It is instant. Um, if you turn off um, the, the caching um, and the proxying, then obviously you have to wait for TTLs to expire. But the thing I love, and I have Cloudflare protecting all of my sites, is if I make a DNS change, it happens instantly because it's not actually a DNS change. They're just changing um, what their proxies redirect to in the back end. So you can see here we have got a certificate. I haven't set up a certificate a web server that I'm running. In fact, I can show you um, the config. Um, there is no certificate set up on it at all. Here it is, just an Nginx server. We do not have anything about SSL certificates in this. It's all listening on port 80. So let's talk about the five things that you get for free using Cloudflare. This is really, really good if you have a lot of customers, especially if you've got customers all over the world. Um, Cloudflare will have servers all over the world. And obviously, if a server is nearer to you, um, it doesn't have as far to go and get the information that it needs or get the file that it needs. Um, so Cloudflare start caching things for you. So you've got some cache rules. Um, but if we just look at the configuration, um, we just do standard caching at the moment. We can tell it to ignore query strings. Um, and it caches things for four hours. And you can change that to a lot less, or we can change it to a lot more. We can even set it to a year. Now, the reason you might want to change this is every four hours, if no one's gone to that image, it deletes it out of its caching, then needs to wait for someone to go and ask for its image again before it puts it back into its cache. And then subsequent people will obviously get that faster. One of the things that um, I love is purging and custom purging your cache. So if you're working on a website or something like that, you can just go ahead um, and make those changes. So that is caching. We saw very um, a little bit earlier about email forwarding. So you can now go ahead, put in Toby, and I could forward that to my personal email address. And any email from toby at the devopshow.com would go to my personal email address. And that again, absolutely free. One of the big things that Cloudflare um, talks about, and one of the biggest, biggest reasons that I use it is DDoS protection. But just out of the box, they'll um, you know protect you from a lot of malicious attacks. And then we've got uh, rules. So um, in our rules, we have got page rules. So um, we can do a page rule that will say, based on a URL, so if we go to the devopshow.com forward slash talk radio, we can then tell it to do something. We can tell it to always use HTTPS on that. Um, we can tell it to get rid of the cache, don't have security, um, forward to another URL. We'll do a lot of different things. Now we get three of these out of the box, um, but there's a lot of different things that we can change based on a particular URL. But one of the biggest things um, around here is security. So if we go up here to security, we have got quite a few things in here. We've got the WAF and we've got DDoS. Let's have a quick look at the WAF. So the WAF allows us to create, we get five active firewall rules. Now I use these on all of my servers. All of my customers are European customers um, on the majority of my websites. Um, as such, um, a lot of the time I'll create a firewall rule that only allows European IP addresses on it. But you can also reject areas. So for example, if you don't have any Chinese or Russian customers, you might want to stop IP addresses from China and Russia from getting through the Cloudflare network. So you put a rule in here, so you might call it uh, China, Russia, or something else. It's completely up to you. In here, you're going to say, what do we want to look at? So we can look at cookies, countries, continents. So let's do continent. Um, if it equals, uh, let's go with Asia. And you can do it all. So you might do Asia, 
or if it equals Antarctica. Um, you can then choose to block. Um, I like to do the JavaScript challenge. So what this will do is that it will just say, are you really a human being? Get them to, to do a JavaScript challenge um, and then allow them through. And then deploy firewall rule. And it's easy as that. You get five of them free out the box. Um, instead of continent, you might choose to go to country. So if we look through here, we've got all of the countries in here. Russian Federation. And uh, here we can do country as well. Put T in China. Give them a JavaScript challenge. Deploy firewall rule. Done. That is in. And then it will give you activity on the last 24 hours as and when that firewall rule is triggered. The last thing that you can do is um, to do with the speed of your website. So speed is very, very important. Um, and there's lots of optimizations that you can do here. So yes, there's a lot of things that um, you need to be pro to do, like automatic image resizing. Um, but there are a couple of things. So if you have a very large JavaScript file, CSS file, or HTML file with lots of white space, that white space takes up um, kilobytes of data. You can auto minify it on the fly. So you tick these boxes when Cloudflare um, puts that into its cache, it serves it to your customers without any white space, making your website um, smaller in size. Um, you can turn on um, some optimizations for WordPress, um, which again is a, a purchased thing. But there are a couple of really, really good ones um, here. The rocket loader probably being one that not many people know too much about, but it's really, really clever. So Rocket Loader um, allows um, you to do asynchronous JavaScript. So how it works um, is um, usually your website, um, if you've got 10 JavaScript files um, to download, um, your browser will start with number one, wait for that to download, then go to number two, et cetera, et cetera. Despite JavaScript being quite asynchronous, um, HTTP isn't. Um, so your JavaScript files are not asynchronous. However, with Rocket Loader, um, you can use um, asynchronous, um, and it does that using the um, HTTP2 um, standard, which is in browsers now, that allows you to do asynchronous downloading. Thank you for watching my video on Cloudflare, and I really hope that the things that I showed you are valuable to you. Please drop a message, drop a comment. Um, if you've got anything that you have found in Cloudflare that you would like me to cover, anything that you found really valuable that you think you want me to explore a little bit more, and I will try my best to do that. So thank you. Again, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe to my videos. I appreciate it. Thank you very much.